I don't I don't know how to start this, but to say with no hyperbole, th- this may be one of those where it's like not the most important video I make. I don't think that, you know, but one where once it, it's those moments like I've been saying to people where I thought about how I thought about Bitcoin or Tesla. Or, you know, seeing these things where I was like, man, I knew I should have got in where I should have got in. And I didn't. Don't be that on this. This is still early. Um, Talking about DeFi kingdoms. But this is DeFi Llama. These are the chains right now. They're showing that have smart contracts. You know, uh, Bitcoin just got its taproot functionality, which will have it on here at some point. But as of today, right? So Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Terra, Solana. This is the TVL, total value locked under um, under these chains. That's <clears throat> that's what these rankings are. So Avalanche, you know all these, right? All the ones you know. Down here, number 20 is Harmony. With 500 million locked under um, in, in its chain. And its number one is DeFi Kingdoms. With the lion's share, more than half of that value. So DeFi Kingdoms is a game, a DEX, a liquidity pool opportunity, a market of rare utility-driven NFTs. And it all plays out seamlessly in the incredibly nostalgic form of fantasy pixel art. Couldn't say it any better. Um, Couldn't say it any better to describe what what this game is, but... Is is what I was saying the other day in one of the um, self experiment um, videos, which is you want the ability to let's go back a little bit. In DeFi kingdoms, you can swap tokens back and forth, farm, uh, pool uh, tokens together to liquidity pairs, earn. Um, Gains off to that liquidity pair and also st- stake the liquidity pair and farm that liquidity pair to earn even more rewards, as well as a staking mechanism with the currency, which is named Jewel. All these things happen in one place. We'll go there in a second. And that's one aspect of it. Just decentralized finance, all the aspects. Now, you know, could later could they add anything, borrow and lending, probably so. That's a whole other story, <laughs> you know. It, it, that was probably the only thing that's missing out of the whole decentralized finance, the borrowing collateralization. Okay, that could be added. Um, then there's also an, an, an NFT game driven aspect. Now, the game part is not even fully fleshed out in terms of the player versus player where you're battling other players for jewel and gold, possibly, who knows? And you know, who knows land or whatever you can bet on there or player versus environment, which is when you're playing a game, you're just playing against the computer in terms of going on a quest in a dungeon, fighting this monster and, you know, uh, quote unquote, the luck of the draw, the roll of the dice, as this game would be um, a random number generator. So. And, and, and with that aspect of a game, there's these NFTs that are valuable selling now at the floor for like. Um, over two hundred fifty dollars at this point, probably about two eighty ish. Um, I think it's jewels like seven seven thirty now, and it, the floor is like forty forty one um, jewel right now. So, all of these things combine into one place. I can't. I don't know anything for certain except for one thing, which is the existence of the creator of the universe. But this is one of those things that okay, I've asked to to, to be able to see when one of these big uh, opportunities would exist again so I can get in early. And I think this is it. So DeFi Kingdoms, I think, is going to be super huge as where it is, but also be was considered a killer application for um, any you know, when, when, whenever things would come out uh, back when I was young, like consoles, new consoles, the game would come out that would just make everybody have to get that console. 
this is going to be that for cryptocurrency where everybody going to start hearing about it, hearing about it, see it, start to get involved, get get sucked in and start understanding. Oh, this is what this means. And it can bleed out to other aspects in terms of where people will go with their um, interests. But this is going to be huge. So let's get a little bit into it. Like I said, still on Harmony. Very small, but very soon, DeFi Kingdoms will be going to the number fifth chain, which 10.84 billion value locked, which has Trader Joe's is number two with almost two billion, which is a swap and a farm. Not that something like that. Now, Ave, which is more borrowing and lending. Yeah, DeFi Kingdom doesn't have that capacity. But a lot of these other things is going to have a bit of competition when this game comes in. And I mean, look, it's money for everybody and it's going to grow. It has a completely different environment. Um, like I said, it has not only the decentralized finance of being able to swap um, a, a, a large variety of tokens, but then there's also the parent tokens and farming them in liquidity pools, which, you know, and where we have now Harmony, uh, very good APR, uh, APRs. When I say very good, I say triple digits, the seven, eight hundred, six hundred digit, six hundred, not digits, but six hundred um, um, APR, not APY, APR. And then a staking, I think, is like at a 48 percent APR for the native token, if I'm not mistaken, or somewhere close in that. <clears throat> I have to double check that. So. That's a little bit of seeing, you know, and a thought of what's coming next in the near future for it. What what, what else kind of gives me a little bit of this? Um, um, I'm facing the wrong place for this to be. Maybe I can scroll a little bit. We'll see how much this you need. You know, this is Jewel over here. Oh, we're good. So Axie Infinity is a game that is being played. No, I don't want that. Let's go here. Um, for those that know. And it blew up. See, last year, Axie Infinity was 12 cents about a month ago, a year ago, 13 months ago. And the high was over $164. It's down 42% at the moment. Market cap at six point four billion. The market cap for DeFi Kingdom's jewel right now is at four hundred and thirty one million right now. So mid 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 cap. And you know, it's only been out a couple of months, low of a a dollar twenty three, high of ten dollars and thirty seven cents, down thirty one percent right now. It was like seven twenty six early now, seven twenty three, so I can't predict the future. Don't say I can or don't try. Now you can say, okay, you want to look at the other stats. If you know what you're doing, there's other stats you want to look at too. You want to look at the um, the the amount of coins as well. And the total amount of supply of this is 270 million. Right now, circulating supply is 67 million. And for Jewel, there is a circulating supply of 61 million and a max supply of half a uh, half a billion but a total supply right now a lot of it is locked a 308 um million so not too far off in terms of their uh tokenomics and but you know how they're i don't know too much about it, to be honest i haven't really gone too deep in the axie to see exactly how they um, distribute their tokens or if there's burn mechanisms such like that but with DeFi kingdom you know there's this mechanism of locking a lot of coins and, and only releasing them over time to give it time to um build up an um an ecosystem that's very sustainable so awesome game um other little things that, that you can learn from here. Um, and I may do some videos just talking about different aspects of, you know, you know, literally showing um, going to the trader, making a trade or, you know, like say if I was taking this one and turning it to one and um, USD 
and then going here to the Druid and uh, creating a liquidity pool with one and USD and then taking that those uh, liquidity tokens that I took um, created there to Druid and going here to the gardens and planning those with him for the um, one in USD then I'll go in here deposit there and add that but I don't have any seats and just looking at me like what you doing man go get some from the druid but you can see I do have other stuff there that I don't mind showing a little bit of that let's go there you see it here the liquidity I have two liquidity pools in jewel and one and jewel and phantom because after AVEX I believe my guess is is going to be phantom why do i make this guess i'll show you exactly why because you go here to docks and it's going to be a bridge you'll be able to bridge your assets because the, the game when they when they talk about they go to avalanche it's going to be like a another kingdom set up over there so you'll take your nfts over there to do tasks to uh i don't know if you better summon with the nfts that's going to be created here probably so or not and 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 have the traits um mix in between um You'll be able to do, they said, quests where you'll have to go to Avalanche and do stuff with NFTs and come and bring things back. There'll be different, you know, here, like in an inventory. Well, I, don't, I don't have anything in this, this on this account inventory. But there are um, things that you can, uh, you, you collect when you uh, fish and forage and probably mine and garden as well that you'll um, be able to trade over there. But anyway, so go here to Doc Master and it switches to, switches you to uh, any cross. Um, not right now. Oh wait, no, I probably oh, I needed to do that. Shoot, let's do it again. <clears throat> okay, so you see it says one uh, main net. How many one? And then the choices you get. Oh, what happened? Oh, wait, let me let me see. Um, do. Okay, they have Matic. Oh, now they added Matic. Because, okay, so they used to just have um, Phantom and AVAX. But now they added Matic. Okay, good. Because, you know, if somebody was farming privately, they may already be farming. Thought about the Matic would be coming as well. So this would make me think they're going. I was. They had the AVAX and they used to just only have Phantom. So that's what I thought was going to happen. But now they added Matic. So, okay. Good to know. That's some alpha. Alpha for you. All right. So, um, we'll do some, um, we'll show you some, some different, um, some chick, some, some tricks and stuff that have been picking up in terms of where you want to select heroes, kind of what you want to look for, you know, early off, you want to say, look, I want a, Hero that's probably in the first and second generation and with a lot of summons initially. So this one got four, four, five. You're looking probably about six or seven summons. If you're going to buy two heroes, you say I'm going to be able to, uh, be able to have some pairs. That's what you're kind of thinking of and looking for initially. But if you're thinking just one hero and that you're going to be um renting other heroes occasionally but just getting um getting um quests and stuff done as you earn money as you farm and do other things with your liquidity tokens then you know yeah five or six come here think about you know it's uh so some other sites i'm going to show you um this yield farming will show you exactly how much money you're making on your um on your farms like right here this jewel in one farm I have I have $124 in there I think I'll put $210 totals in this so I had $124 in there and that's increased um and I'm getting about 0.36 joule a day $2.62 and over a year I get about 131 joule and that's if I this APR showed you APR 2.11 a day um and as you know if I if I don't compound but I will be compounding and I also have some in the Phantom because, like I said, I thought, you know, well, a new Phantom would be, a new, well, I don't know, but my thought is that Phantom would be one of the next um, chains that it'll go to. And it had less volume in there than the 
less value in the under locked in there than the avalanche so i was able to have a bigger stake with less money but i'm oh, sorry anyway so in the phantom i put about um i don't know how much i put in but it says 78 here now like i said i put about 210 in total so i'm at a um um already at this like what about 200 205 ish about 200 205 right uh the and this earning 0.23 a day and so you can see this so this is um vfat vfat dot tools i'll put both i didn't put the links the other day for the bridge and pancake swap i'll put bridge pancake swap this vfat and the next one i'm gonna show you um in the description unless i forget again apologize for that in advance it's a good resource uh, dfk tavern whoever created this is really sweet and nice maybe i didn't refresh it because that did it at 16 so that 722 now but they show you like which of the different classes of warriors are good at which um skills and also this is the thing it shows you you know how much it's going to cost to summon warriors so something you think about when you're getting a warrior that's why you want to get the lower gen ones because it's cheaper as they go through because the price raises with each um, successive summon but if you breed the right pair you have a chance of getting from going from basic pairs to advanced pairs and elite and then the exalted so if you bought something like a wizard then you want to get somebody either you want to buy a priest next or when you if you rent something to summon you want to rent a priest so that you can have a chance of getting a summoner which is a more advanced class okay so you know i'm gonna put this resource in there for you as well so you come here and you just may say oh boom hey this priest i know i need to get a wizard to make a summoner in the future or this warrior i know i need a knight to make a paladin or, hey, I got enough money. I'm just going to go in here and I like the paladins and I want to go big with it because I heard that they'll be good miners and I can mine my money out. You know, a lot of the stuff you hear people with rumors about. You can go here and buy paladins. Look, now they don't have any summons. These don't have any summons. But look, you go down to one level, you can get for 64 jewel, which is about times seven. 430 ish you know um in the four about 450 ish the you can get a paladin with some one summon you can at least try to get to a um that paladin one summon you then rent a dark knight and try to get a dragoon you won't have enough after that that'll be a a, a, a barren dragoon you won't have a, a chance to mate with a sage to try a dread knight but you know something to think about going way down rabbit hole that i didn't want to go because like i said i wasn't trying to do that but so that's that then you got the bank where you can deposit money in here so i have about um with this going up this price going up at about 2.4 jewel in there presently so all said and done i think this is going to blow up like the world trade so Oh no! I mean that's a horrible line. And, uh, in hindsight, because I think later after that it became um, even um, a worse tragedy when Biggie first said it. So, um, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, a hey. gotta do his best for you. None of this is financial advice, but ain't no but to it. Telling you what I think, and I think this is gonna be super huge, and it's still super early. And then this, if this blow up anything like an X Infinity, I think it'd be bigger than X Infinity. It's gonna 10x from here. So, and I think it'd probably be even more than 10x, especially as to go to different, the different chains and such. So, well, with that, I love you. You love you. God loves us, and that's all that matter.